Hello everyone. My name is Dion Nugent from the Jamaica Public Service Company. I am director with responsibility for business development. And in my portfolio, I have the exciting area of electric vehicle and its development. I want to tell you, it's really, really wonderful and exciting being in this area of our development as a nation. And we here at JPS are playing our part. I want to introduce to you that we have actually started the, the conversion of our fleet here in Jamaica. So say hi to our zero emissions electric vehicle here and we have a number of other vehicles in our fleet and we are saying to Jamaica, now is the time for us to play our part in ensuring that our country does its part to reduce the impact of climate change. it is definitely more environmentally friendly. Why? We are not using fossil-based fuels. We are using batteries that give us an opportunity now to reduce the level of CO2 emissions in our environment. We are a small island state and certainly we know that the impact of climate change has very significant impacts on us. Therefore, we believe that Driving these vehicles that give you that benefit is something that we should be looking towards today for a better future. We here at JPS saw that it was critical that we ensure that there is charging structure, charging infrastructure right across the island. And so we have our own charge and go charging facilities across Jamaica. What we say to you today, don't be afraid to drive. Charging inf infrastructure is there ready and available for you. Every electric vehicle has its own specifications, but I can tell you the range of electric vehicles have significantly expanded over the past few years. So it is in fact possible, even in this very vehicle, to drive from Kingston to Mobe and back without going to zero charge. Electricity costs about 40 to 50% less than the cost of fuel at the pumps. That makes sense for me if I'm going to work from Port Moore every day and dropping children off. It is definitely an operating, an operating cost opportunity for any average family and any business out there. If you are asking about when my battery is at zero and I want to go to full, it really depends on the type of charger that you have. So home charging, which we call typically level one charging, that can take up to eight hours. But guess what, you're at home, you're plugged in, you're asleep, the car can charge quite fine over eight hours. For the charge and go networks, we have much faster chargers. So we have the very rapid chargers. If you go to Ironshore and Bootscat Station in Drax Hall, you will see the rapid chargers. So you can go from zero to full within about 30 minutes, plus or minus. You now have also the ones that are a little slower. So you're going to the mall, you're going to eat, you're gonna spend maybe an hour or two. These can do charging, full charging in about two, three, four hours, depending on the type of your vehicle. So the charger is really what is gonna determine, the charger and your battery size will determine how long it takes. 